Hello everyone, this is Comiendo con Chichi. Hola a todo el mundo, esta es Comiendo con Chichi. Hoy voy a preparar eh, la mezcla para el pernil y el pavo. Pero ahora en este momento voy a adobar el pavo primero, pero siempre siendo la misma receta. Um, so vamos, vamos a empezar. Okay. Cojo como... Como media taza, más o menos, dependiendo, de aceite. About a half a cup or less, about a third or fourth cup of oil, depending on the mixture. Because you want it to be wet, not dry. La quiere que sea un poco mojada, no muy seca la mezcla. Un poco de jugo de limón. A little bit of um, lime juice, as you can see here. Um, about a tablespoon of vinegar, because you don't want it too vinegary. And you go tasting. Tú vas probando. Mientras vas poniendo los ingredientes, vas probando. You know, you taste everything as you go by, um, for the simple reason that, um, you want to make sure that everything is incorporated right. Okay? Then we add about, I add about two to three tablespoons, depending on how big the turkey is of sofrito that I made myself. Of course, I cover everything as I go. Oh, all your to be covered. Okay. And you go moving it around. Now, in here, I have three tablespoons of garlic powder. Now, the ingredients you must have full amount of garlic. Just start whisking it together. I have the same amount of adobo. I know you're saying, oh my god, that's salty. It's not. Trust me. And you keep whisking. And if you see that it's so thick like it is right here, then you add a little bit, bit more of oil because you want it to be, you know, flowing around. You don't want it to be too thick, okay? And you just keep moving it. Simple as that. In here, I have my criollo, which is a half a teaspoon of that criollo. Sazon criollo is from Santo Domingo. Uh, my friend brings it to me. And it's to die for. But it's you can do without it. I just add that simple touch to it. In here, I have garlic salt with oregano. Mm -hmm. Add that here. Let's get that out there. And as you incorporate everything, um, don't forget your three packs of sazon with achote. Okay, just uh, puse en este mezcla, yo puse tres cucharadas de ajo en polvo. Tres cucharadas de adobo en polvo, media cucharada de ajo en con sal. Entonces, una mezcla de esto, media cucharada de esto, de ranchero. No sé si aquí lo venden o no, pero esto viene de Santo Domingo. Ok. Esto es todo lo que yo le pongo a mí. Este, en, a mi mezcla. Bueno, ahora tengo que probarla antes de ponérsela al pavo. Ok. Always taste it before you season your turkey. Why I say that? Because sometimes, and just sometimes, it can be a little too salty. You don't want that. At this time, it's perfect. Okay? Not too salty. And not going to overpower the turkey juices as it comes out or anything like that. It's just going to be just nice. And it will be even on them. Okay. So I do have, I know a lot of people don't like it, neck bone. I love the neck bone. And of course, my husband loves the heart. I don't know if you can see it, but that's what my husband loves to eat. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. I take this very liberal and I just 
start rubbing it into the creases. I made slits into it prior to the video. You know, I already cleaned it out. So just start seasoning it your way. You know, make sure you have fun doing your turkey. Make sure that you put it inside the cavity of the turkey, also in the inside of the skin, you know, so it can grab everything. I just like to take my time because this is important to season your meat properly. Es muy importante que adobe la carne muy bien para que puedas tener todos los layers de los sabores que tiene la mezcla. Um, es muy importante adobarlo de adentro, muy especial adentro, oh, mucho adobo, arriba y abajo, adentro las piernitas también se le echa, yo no sé si ustedes me pueden ver bien, estoy tratando de mantenerme foco con ustedes, pero yeah, ya ustedes tienen una idea de cómo adobar ¿no? un pavo como un pernil. You guys have an idea, an example of how to season your turkey and your pork shoulder the same seasoning just less depending on how many pounds you use so this is a 13 to 14 pound turkey um you know it's just me and my husband the family is not coming this year my son is away in um florida he lives out there so he's not coming for the holidays so i'm a little sad but that's okay you know i still do it you know for my husband and myself my dad who will be with us as well make sure you season it very well like i said it's important to season and don't be afraid you know it, just because it looks like it's a lot of salt that went into it remember the salt cooks your turkey prior to going into the oven so if you don't season it correctly and evenly you're not gonna have the full effect of the flavors honestly i love flavor I like to, um, this is my style, of course. And everybody can pick and choose whatever they want to put into it. I choose not to put a lot of oregano because it overpowers the flavors. Oregano is something that's very strong, especially the Spanish oregano, which is what I use. Spanish oregano tend to overpower anything. It has to be minimal, a dash. You can't over um, put the oregano in it because oregano is fragrant and you don't want to you know use too much of it that's me i guess i love oregano just very minimal unless i'm using it for like italian cooking i use the italian oregano of course this one comes from santo domingo because a friend of mine who, lived, who went on vacation brought it for me because she knows i love to cook all spices so she's brought me all these seasoning even if you have extra because you always have extra just Make sure that cavity is seasoned properly. It's very much important. And the reason why I'm using the gloves is because all of this is oily and has color and it kind of like damages your nails and you don't want your nails to be damaged, you know, especially when you're cooking or doing a video, you don't want to have your nails all colored and then when you go to your next video, you have them all messed up. Anyways, I like to use gloves when I'm marinating or seasoning because more you know more clean and more hygienic for me i like it shows people that i'm clean when i'm cooking and so they tend to want to eat for my food <laughs> i don't know my family just eats it anyway no matter it's just me sitting. so once you season and if you have any leftover like i said just pour it because remember all this becomes your gravy so all the juices becomes your gravy at the end once you start taking off the, the turkey off of it your gravy is just mixed with a little bit of flour just to you know thicken it up and that's it and we have turkey gravy right here it's great for your whatever you're going to use if you like turkey gravy i don't use gravy i make the gravy out of it but i don't use it and that's all that's basically how you season a turkey or a pork shoulder i hope that this has helped you in any way and this is my style um and i hope you enjoy it i hope that somebody does this 
and actually it gives me a feedback on how the taste came out, either on the pork shoulder or the turkey. Okay, y ya estaba diciendo que es bueno este, usar todo lo, lo gravy que, que sale de esto. Tú puedes hacer un gravy. Pero solamente echarle un poco de, de flour, de la mezcla blanca, para ponerlo un poco pesado. Um, eso es todo. Eh, espero que les haya gustado el video. I hope you guys love my, you know, like my first video. You know, I'll get a little more comfortable later on. Unfortunately, this was my first video. And I'm, I'm hoping, you know, more people will like my channel and follow and support me on all my social medias. I'm on Instagram the same way. I'm also on YouTube the same way. So it's Comiendo Con Chichi on all medias. So please follow, like, support me. And I'll be adding more videos as they come tomorrow i'll be posting the pork shoulder the seasoning of the pork shoulder i might do it tonight i don't know depending on how i'm feeling <laughs> anyways this is comiendo con chichi and i hope you enjoy every moment i uh, espero que usted le agrada eh, la receta mía y espero que le gusten eh, me, por favor déjenme su mensaje si la han hecho y si les gustado y como les salió Oh, another thing I forgot to say. Otra cosa que yo se me olvidó poner es eh, que yo siempre le pongo a lo último. Son la mantequilla, the butter. Don't forget to stick the butter in. I almost forgot that part. And I do it ahead of cooking it. The reason why, the butter melts everything. Yo lo pongo antes de cocinarlo, unos cuantos días antes, porque la, la sal de la mantequilla aunque tenga un poquito, um, le ayuda a cocinarse un poco mejor, mantenerlo juicy, um, keeps it juicy for you guys. So, a lot of butter is good. It's not gonna kill anyone to do this butter. No lo va a matar a nadie, usa un poco de mantequilla en su, en su pavo. Porque esto es bueno, esto, esto ayuda a mantenerlo mojadito, al pavo, especialmente la pechuga, especially the breast part needs you know all the juices that you can get okay guys i hope you guys really enjoyed this video it's, i think it was a short one for today and i'm going to try and do the um the benito one the pork shoulder one because everybody's asking me for one okay guys have a great day enjoy this video and i'm hoping to hear your feedback thank you very much comiendo con chichi